Natalia Bonner. Happy Monday. I'm so excited to be here today and have you here and share these fun quilt block designs with you. So I am quilting these fun designs today on the bottom of this sample, this panel right back here. That's actually the sample for my new, brand new free stitch along, the nine patch along. 2.0. We had so much fun last year stitching out the first version of the nine patch along that we thought, why not bring it all back this year and stitch out some for some more fun nine patch quilt block designs. So along the bottom of that panel, you're going to see that there are nine bonus blocks. Those designs or those blocks, I'm going to quilt these designs with you. So today I'm going to share three of those designs and then we will be back with a couple more videos to fill in the rest of those blocks. Now, we do want you to sign up to join us in this free stitch along over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. So make sure after you watch today's video, you hop over to our website and join us in this exciting new stitch along. Let's get stitching. Nine patch along bonus block number one. This is a variation of block number 13 from our stitch along, the squirrel. So this is like a square spiral. I start out by stitching in towards the center, a square spiral. As I'm stitching out this design, I'm keeping my straight lines spaced about three quarters of an inch apart. You'll see that I'm holding my machine quilting ruler. So the second marked line on that ruler is right on top of my previous stitch line. Once I've stitched to about the center point on my block, then I'm going to adjust my ruler and I'm going to stitch in between my previous stitch lines right back out, straight lines, circling, square rolling right back out to where I began stitching. I'm using my mini four in one machine quilting ruler to stitch out this fun design. Block number two. This is a fun variation of the ghost geese block. I love this block. This is a great way to add detail or extra attention to a negative space block. I am using a purple thread to stitch out this design, so it's going to stand out even more. With this design, I am going to be doing a bit of marking. I'll start out by marking a horizontal line right through the center of my block. And then I'm going to vertically mark a center point on my line and also at the top of my block. I like to use the blue Mark Be Gone marker for my markings. From there, I'm going to stitch in the ditch all the way around the outside of this square quilt block. Once my stitch in the ditch is complete, then I'm going to stitch from the bottom corner up to that center marked point, from that center marked point down to the bottom right corner. From there, I'll travel up my ditch. I'm going to travel from my marked line, an angular line right up to that center point. At that center point, I'll adjust my ruler and stitch to the opposite side to the marked line. From there, now I'm again going to adjust my machine quilting ruler and stitch a straight line right across that center marked line. Now I want these geese to pop, so I'm going to use some tiny back and forth straight line stitching to fill in those open triangles. I like to use the side of my machine quilting ruler just to help me keep my lines nice and straight. Sometimes it gives me just a little bit more control. You can see here that I do have our piece and quilt pop socket ruler grip on the back of my ruler. That really helps me to just have something extra to hold on and keep my ruler nice and stable. Once I filled in those triangles on the bottom flying geese block, then I'll move up to the top and fill in those triangles as well. 
You could really fill in with any filler here. I just like something with a lot of texture as it really makes that geese block pop. Once I have all of those matchstick lines filled in, then I can mist away those marked lines and I've got a gorgeous quilt block design. And let's stitch out one more fun block. This is a fun variation of the intertwine block. I'll start out this block design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. Once my stitch in the ditch is complete, I'll travel up to the upper left corner. I'm going to stitch a diagonal line from point to point through my block. From there, I'm going to travel along my ditch, moving over a half inch. I've not done any extra marking here as I'm using the markings on my machine quilting ruler. So as I travel over, then I'll adjust my machine quilting ruler so the first marked line on my ruler is right on top of my previous stitch line. From there, I'll stitch across my block, repeating that process until I've filled in that side of my block completely with those evenly spaced straight lines. Once I have those complete, now I'm going to repeat that process on the opposite side of the block, creating a cool cross hatching look through this bottom section of the block and leaving the top portion open. You could always go and add a fun fill to the top or leave it just as I have here. I love how this turned out. I hope you all found just a bit of inspiration from today's machine quilting video. Have a great day, everybody.